Hello everyone. Today we are in conversation with Mr. Karan Kakkar, India's leading disease reversal expert. He is the founder of Reverse Factor, whose mission and vision is to eradicate lifestyle diseases. So there is something known as CKD, chronic kidney disease, which is rising at an alarming rate. So what are your views on this? You know the top two cause of chronic kidney disease is high blood pressure and high diabetes, right? So we get at least fifteen to twenty patients every week who has CKD, and we and we look at the history of those patients. Fifteen twenty years they have been suffering with either high blood pressure or high diabetes or both. Then they develop something called CKD when your kidney starts failing, your creatinine level goes up. But what is what is interesting to note is that. Do do these people who have uh, CKD were they not having medicines of high blood pressure and high diabetes? They were having it since last 15-20 years. Every single day they had medicine of high BP or high diabetes, but they never addressed the cause of the disease. Right. So it is important to note that if we treat the underlying cause of the disease. we don't develop something called ckd right but today since nobody is treating the cause and just taking another pill for every ill they are developing something called ckd and which is rising at an alarming rate right people have to undergo dialysis it is such a painful process but what they are not doing is treating the cause of the disease so is it like just high creatinine something which matters for ckd or is there something else you know high creatinine is the end result and uh, which leads to ckd and you know after we have ckd it is diagnosed one of the biomarkers for uh, ckd but uh, what are important criteria is we need to look at whether they have high blood pressure or diabetes or both that needs to be addressed also lot of people are not aware of a test called egfr so egfr is the filtration rate of the kidney right okay. so which is also equally so if there is a patient whose creatinine is say 4 and normal has to be less than 1.2 okay. and another patient whose creatinine is also at 4 but egfr in one case is 50 and another case is 10 right so people whose egfr is 50 has higher chances of recovery faster chances of recovery than someone whose egfr is at 10 okay. right so a lot of people come to us with creatinine level of 3 4 but they are not aware of what egfr is so then we get those tested so looking at all these numbers is very important so can you share a case study with us a patient who has recovered completely from ckd you know in fact uh, I'll, t- i'll share a very recent case so there's this gentleman called mr b Vish- uh, vishwanathan uh, and he was diagnosed with and had a creatinine level of 5.96 it's too high it's very high and you know all doctors were advising him to go for dialysis and uh, so when we met with creatinine 5.96 we ourselves had not very high hopes but that gentleman did very nice in terms of following the routine and he was very optimistic tried to lay, lead a stress free life and one month later okay when he did his blood work his creatinine came down from 5.6 to 4.46 okay and another month down the line and like that it's just three months old story and today his creatinine is around 3 okay and now that gentleman has hope that the way he is doing we are also very optimistic the way he is doing we are very hopeful that even if we can't get him to normal 1.2 even if we can get him around 1.5 to 2 close to around 2 i think that's a phenomenal work that we have it done it is it is right and uh, at least that person is saved from all the trouble of dialysis and the family is out of the, that sorrow of him going under through the dialysis process so do you have any message for our viewers on ckd how to prevent it or any kind of food suggestions you know i think the biggest learning that we need to take out of ckd patients is you know nobody realizes that when they are in their early 40s you know when they have blood pressure for 4 5 years when they are diagnosed with diabetes for 4 5 years they let it go very merrily and they enjoy life they don't focus on reversing blood pressure and diabetes at the first stage right because if we treat blood pressure and diabetes at that very moment and if we cannot uh, you know if we do not live with that journey of you know living with diabetes living with blood pressure we can definitely you know not have the scenario of having ckd right today the rise of ckd 
is because we are not treating blood pressure and diabetes when it was supposed to be right and therefore we have led to this crisis of ckd patients everywhere right so first learning is that we cannot live with diabetes we cannot live with high blood pressure and hope that things will be fine right today the biggest change that we need to do is the mindset change people feel i have blood pressure since last 15 years it's okay i'm on medicine it is controlled but this is the worst mindset one can ever have we did not live with that because there is nothing called control you know you are on medicine you are having those uh, diseases or you're not having those diseases so the first mindset shift is reversing those diseases itself so that you don't get into a complicated scenario where your kidney is impacted your liver is impacted your heart is impacted why not stop it at the first go so that was about ckd that is chronic kidney disease the best thing you can do to prevent ckd is treat diabetes and high blood pressure with the help of right food to know more you can like and subscribe to our channel